thank you for the past for me. Sometimes when I go in the Bushkin country right now, my husband stays here, had you figured out my husband was working before. I went with just my son, oh my daughter, and my grandchildren. I can put the tent. My, my grandson, she's going to help me. I don't have no problem. I can hunt, you know, small animals, pocket points, cartridge, rabbit, not big animal, not curry. <coughs> then sometimes I put my snares in the woods. And uh, I like so much when I walk, so much. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. When I see mountain, I want to go. I want to go on the top of the mountain. There's a mountain here behind. I call my husband before we go back to Shehadi. I want to go in there. Some of my grandchildren, small ones, you can buy. I can walk with the big one. Uh, my grandson, he's seven years old. He can mm -hmm. walk with me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, I'm a bit jealous. He speak more English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As I told you, I never was in school when I was young. You went to St. John's. I went to school, he had it sometimes just one month. Grade four, not finished. My father stayed in the bushing country all the time. Never complained. I never told my mom, no, I'll go home. She had you know, I go to school. Now I explain my, my grandchildren. Both is very, very important right now. In the bushing country, not get lost in our culture and school. Both is very, very important. That's what I told my grandchildren all the time. I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know my English is not, not very good. Oh, it's fine. Nice. I find more nervous and more shy when Peter here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> One time, a couple years ago, me and my son, Jack Panashwe, we went in, um, I don't know what they call the place, in many, many places we speak. And every night, Jack helped me speak. Many people. And my son sat down with me. And one evening, I can see my son in the face so tired. I see Jack, he looks really tired. I said, why don't you go home? I won't speak to the people. Don't listen. Come and rest face. And then he didn't go, go back home. He stayed outside, listen to me. And the people I speak to the people, a lot of people. When I finished, Jack came. Mom, why don't you tell me? I help you every night. <laughs> 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 Everything, everything that I learned, my mom, my mom, she makes everything. You know people a long time ago, she did, she never, not so much shopping. You heard about Stone Larry? Mm. She don't go to the store very much. Mm -hmm. She just went to the store, get just something important. Flour, sugar, baking powder, cheap eggs, and she buys some, uh, she buys some material and sewing in the bushing country. Make some dresses, dresses and uh, boys' hands. And, uh, I explained my grandchildren many times. I said to him, I never had a Christmas person when I was young. Never. I never had that. I said, I feel like this is Christmas person. And my mom made my mother's. When my mom made my dresses. And my mom made my shirts. Oh. 
one you, you're sewing. Push, is that my sister or is that mine? I think my, my mother, she find hard to say, you know, yours or your sister. <laughs> just wait, just wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like very, very much in the bush in the country. I don't know, I don't know what I want to, what, what should, what we want to do. If I get a very, very old lady, mm -hmm. I can't walk anymore, I can't do it anymore, I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I think I'm very, very sad. Did you tell me about your box? Huh? Did you tell me about your No, no. And I walk every, every spring in the bush. Every spring, March, March, uh, March 5. <laughs>